नमस्कार दोस्तों आज हम टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट डेफिनेशन ऑफ इन कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट इफ यू लाइक अवर टॉक्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल लाइक अवर चैनल एंड यू कैन आस्क क्वेश्चन एंड गिव सजेशन ऑन ऑन कमेंट बॉक्स द मेन thing which people do not understand is ki there are certain definitions the consumer protection act goes by that only the first question is who is a consumer a consumer is a person who buys a product or purchases a product or avail a service for a consideration either for his personal use or to earn his livelihood the consideration may be either paid promised or partly paid or promised it also includes a beneficiary of such goods services when uh, when such use is made with the approval of such person buying goods or hiring services includes offers or online transaction through electronic means or by telescoping or direct selling or multi level marketing who is now the question is who is not a consumer a person is not a consumer if he or she purchases any good or avail any services free of charge means one has to pay to avail services or price to buy goods purchases a good or hiring services for commercial purposes is also not a consumer the last one is avail any services under contract of the services he is also not a consumer now the question is what are goods goods means every kind of movable property and includes food as defined in different clauses of food and safety act 2006 so what is a defect this is the gist of entire consumer protection act ki defect means any fault or shortcoming in the quality quantity potency purity or standard which is required to be maintained by or under any lawful type being forced or under a contract express or implied or claim to be claimed by the trader in any manner whatsoever in relation to the goods one should give good quality sell good quality of product that is more important now the services what is what are services services means services of any description which is made available to potential uses and include by not limited to the provision of facilities in connection with banking finance insurance transportation processing supply of electric or other energy boards or launching of both
or launching of both housing construction, entertainment, amusing, or selling news, but does not include the render of any services free of charge or under a contract of personal services. Like, if you buy a ticket, board a train, handicap aircraft, or any other means of transport, if by default they have got certain certain shortcomings that is called definition uh, deficiency in services. Now the main question is contract of service. It implies of a relation of master and service providers in order to obey in the work of performance and as it mode and manner of performance. This does not come under purview of CP. Contract of service, it implies a contract whereby any party undertakes to render the services, for example, profession or technical services or on the other in the performance of which is not subject to be detailed direction and control but exercise professional and issue his own knowledge and decision. Now the question is what is deficiency in services? Deficiency means a fault, a shortcoming in adequacy, in the quality, nature and manner of performance, which is required to be maintained by under any law for the time being in the in force and has been undertaken to be performed by a person in pursuance of contract or otherwise in relation to that service. This includes any act of negligence or omission or commission by such person which causes loss or injury to the consumer. Deliberate withholding of relevant information by any such person to the consumer means consumer should be explained everything before providing services. 